Here's another example of distribution, but notice now we have a coefficient in front of the x term. And so this can happen. So now we're gonna get practice doing that. So our process is the same, but now it's 2x times x and 2x times one, and then negative three times x and negative three times one. So we're just trying to track more elements of each term. That's all that's different. So 2x times x is now a 2x squared. 2x times 1 is a positive 2x. Negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. And negative 3 times positive 1 is a negative 3. And so when we go to combine like terms, our two middles are like terms. And so we're left with 2x squared minus 1x, but I'll just write x minus 3. Okay? So the outcome of these look different because now there's a number listed here rather than that hidden one that we've seen in other distribution problems. So that's one example. And then here's another. Probably I would have done this one first if I grabbed the right card because everything is positive, but that's okay. So we got 2x times x and 2x times 1. That gets me a 2x squared plus 2x. I have 3 times x and 3 times 1. That gets me a positive 3x and a positive 3. And so combining like terms now, I have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Okay, so notice these two problems started out with the same elements in each, but what was different was the sign in the first um, binomial grouping. And so when you compare final answers, this one all had ended in a negative three, whereas here we ended in a positive three. And up here, the middle term was a negative one, and the bottom term down here was five x, okay? But they both ended with two x squared, okay? So that is how you can do distribution for um, binomials where there's a coefficient in front of the x.